The intermate infuser, also referred to as the baby bottle, is an elastomeric reservoir that contains your antibiotics. It operates with pressure, which allows the medication to flow freely through the tubing. The different infuser components are cap, connector, tube clamp, tubing, balloon. Antibiotic infusers and saline solution syringes must be stored in the refrigerator. We recommend placing them in an airtight container to avoid contamination with food. The antibiotic infuser should be removed from the refrigerator at least four hours in advance so that it is at room temperature for administration. Your antibiotics must be administered at regular intervals. It's very important to follow the schedule as planned to ensure the treatment will be effective. Once you've cleaned the work surface with soap and water, as explained in the capsule on preparing for administering the antibiotics, gather your supplies. You'll need one intermate antibiotic infuser, two saline solution syringes, also referred to as NACL and physiological serum, three alcohol swabs, tape, one belt bag, Before administering the antibiotics, always check the label carefully to ensure it's correctly identified with your name and the name of the medication. Also, check the expiry date. Your medication must not be outdated. Next, carefully inspect the saline solution syringes. There mustn't be any particles of air bubbles in them. If there are problems with your supplies, contact your community pharmacy. Before administering the antibiotics, wash your hands using the technique explained in the preparation capsule. Then, sit down comfortably near the clean work surface and stretch out your arm. Open two alcohol swab packages. Open the infuser's tube clamp. Wait until you see a drop of liquid, then close the tube clamp. Unroll the tubing. Remove the tape on the extension tubing from your intravenous catheter and hold the extension tubing in your hand. Using the first alcohol swab, disinfect the end of the extension tubing and then let it dry for about 30 seconds. Take the first saline solution syringe, remove its protective cap and screw it into the end of the tubing. Slowly inject the saline solution over 15 seconds. Ensure there is no leak, pain, or swelling during the injection. Once done, unscrew the syringe and put it aside. Disinfect the end of the tubing again using the second alcohol swab and let it dry for 30 seconds. Holding the catheter's extension tube, remove the protective cap on the infuser. Screw the infuser tubing into the extension tubing from the catheter without touching the ends. Open the tube clamp on the infuser so the antibiotics can flow. Place the infuser on your belt bag to protect it. The intermate infuser has been designed to empty slowly. It's important to check the balloon during the administration of the antibiotics. The balloon will become smaller and smaller as time goes by. A nurse from the CHUS's day medicine unit has told you the approximate time it should take for your intermit infuser to empty. Make sure this length of time is respected. Once the intermit infuser is empty, wash your hands using the technique explained in the preparation capsule. Then, sit down comfortably near the clean work surface and stretch out your arm. Open the alcohol swab. Close the tube clamp on the infuser. Holding the extension tubing from the catheter, unscrew the tubing from the infuser. Using the third alcohol swab, disinfect the tip of the extension tubing and let it dry for 30 seconds. Take the second saline solution syringe, remove its cap and screw it into the end of the tubing. Slowly inject the saline solution over 15 seconds. Once done, unscrew the syringe and put it aside. 
Lastly, make sure to secure the tubing to your arm with tape and cover it as needed. Those were the steps you must follow for the administration of your antibiotics. Check the video capsule on what to do in case of complication.